Um, I've, I've always said you can take the girl out of the actress, but you never take the actress out of the girl. I so. want to talk before we leave about yeah. your, your uh, godmother. We've all heard of her. <laughs> yes, Joan Crawford. Have. Joan Crawford was my godmother. Yes. Were you, you were named after her, is yes. that true? Yes, she and my mother were best friends. Uh, my mother was in the publicity department at MGM when Joan was signed, when Lucille Lesur yes. came to MGM and was signed and became Joan Crawford, and my, she and my mother were approximately the same age, and they were best friends, and when I was born, I was named after her, and she was indeed my godmother. But did you see any evidence of Mommy Dearest in never, her behavior? Never, never saw Mommy Dearest. I saw a wonderful, darling friend who was generous to the max, to everyone, uh, certainly to me. She was a darling, wonderful friend. I, I traveled when I was a little girl. I traveled on the train from New York to California with Joan. Now, um, that would bring out the worst in, in any great actress, <laughs> believe me. Um, and there was no evidence of bad behavior? Well, not, not anything that I saw. Uh, and, and we went through a lot together. Uh, I mean, eventually, with my mother not speaking to her any longer, because um, I got married in Joan's house one night when my m mother and father weren't expecting it. And uh, like the character in the film, in a way. Yeah. And uh, well, my the, the head of publicity at Goldwyn's had said to me, Joan, I don't care what you do, just don't call me in the middle of the night and tell me you're married. So I called him in the middle of the night and told him I was married. And um, unfortunately, my my mother and father never spoke to Joan again. But uh, but that had no bearing on her relationship with me and her kindness to me and to my husband, for that matter. So who, by the way, to whom I am still married after 61 years. So um, it was. Uh,